Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore one of the most infamous murders in Cyprus involving TV personality Elena Scordelli. TV presenters become familiar faces in our living rooms, invited in day after day, night after night. However, that doesn't mean, like Nicole Kidman's character Suzanne Stone Maretto in the 1995 film To Die For, that they are not capable of murder. Born in Oslo, Norway on the 10th of September 1968 to Cypriot parents with her natural good looks and long blonde hair, Scordelli became one of the most popular faces on Stigma TV as a news presenter and lifestyle host, the second most watched TV channel in the Republic of Cyprus. She eventually married and became a mother. She and her brother, Tassos Kraspolis, a 37-year-old public servant, held a 21% share in Diaz Media, owned by Andis Hedgkostas, which owned Sigma TV. In 2008, Scordelli was controversially sacked for insubordination from Sigma TV. Scordelli found a new job on Plus TV, which in the 2009-2010 season, recorded the least successful ratings of all television stations in the Republic of Cyprus. Inevitably, this represented a significant downgrade in Scordelli's career, with a significantly lower salary. Scordelli vowed revenge against Sigma TV for her sacking, and aimed to take control of the television channel. Scordelli had formerly obsessed with Hajj Kostas, and dreamed of having a sexual affair with him, even giving a photo in 2008 to a psychic through which positive energy was sent, so that she could have sexual relations with him. Born in the capital of the Republic of Cyprus, Nicosia, in September 1968, the same month as Scordelli, the father of Hajgostas, Kostas Hajgostas, founded the Dias Media Empire, which is one of the most successful media groups in the Republic of Cyprus, owning the Sigma TV channel and Simerini newspaper, as well as several radio stations. Scordelli and Kraspolis hired three men, Gregorios Xenophotos, a 29-year-old plumber from Nicosia, Andreas Gregorio, a 30-year-old butcher from Tesseri, and Fiopanis Hajgeogugo to kill Andias Hajkostis, promising them money and jobs for life at Dias Media, which Gordelli and Kospolis would control with the death of Andis Hajkostis due to their 21% share ownership. On the 11th of January 2010, Hajkostis was shot twice, once in the chest and once in the back, dying instantly, with the Simerini newspaper headlining Cowardly Murder. They killed Andy Hachkostis in cold blood, and Sigma TV switched to classical music programming following his murder. Hachkostis's funeral was widely attended, with President of the Republic of Cyprus, Demetrius Christophias, attending. Police initially believed that Hachkostis's murder was linked to Cyprus's political dispute with shotgun casings suggesting that the weapon originated from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Following a 1974 military invasion and occupation, the northern third of Cyprus was put under Turkish control, with only Turkey recognising the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Disputes between Turkish and Greek Cypriots are ongoing to this day, with the island still divided. The Siamini newspaper took a hard line over talks with the Turkish Republic of Cyprus. The newspaper was an adamant opponent to the Annan Plan, a United Nations proposal to resolve the Cyprus dispute and unify Cyprus, which, in a 2004 referendum, although supported by 65% of individuals of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, was widely rejected by citizens of the Republic of Cyprus, with only 24% supporting it. However, it was Hajgia Google who confessed to Republic of Cyprus police, noting that he had met with Scordelli and Kraspolis, with Scordelli claiming that Hajkostas took my money, I want him to die. Hajgia Google also stated that he had never met a woman with such hatred for a man. Letters and Scordelli's computer files confirmed what Hajgia Google had informed police. An increasingly irate and desperate Scordelli threatened to sue journalists who tried to implicate her and claimed that someone tried to kill her by removing bolts from the wheel of her car. 
Eventually, she and her brother, Graspolis, were arrested with her trial to begin in 2011. In June 2011, Xenophotos was tracked down in Moldova, with Grigerio also arrested. On the 13th of June 2013, Scordelli, her brother Graspolis, and two of the hitmen, Xenophotos and Gregorio, were sentenced to life in prison with Scordelli rearranging her hair in front of a press pack as she was being led away, still wanting to appear her best in front of the cameras. Hachki Oguro was put under police protection and not sentenced for the murder. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.